Hi guys, now let's go through the uh, timer setting. Before we get into the timer setting, I just want to take you through on the home screen, you can see some three timers that is one, two and three, three numbers here. I just want to uh, take you through that before we get into the internal uh, timer settings on the menu. Now, the first one denotes the uh, time that the transmitter has been switched on. That means to say I've switched on the transmitter close to more than one, one minute and 25 seconds. The number two uh, basically states the time that the battery or the LiPo battery has been used. I've just changed a new LiPo battery. I've used it for just about a minute. So it shows for about a minute that I've used it. Now, after maybe a couple of few hours that you use, when you change the new battery or you charge the existing battery and put it back again, this will get this will reset to zero. Now that uh, transmitter will only recognize the difference whether it's a new battery or existing battery being charged when there is a 0.2 voltage difference. That means to say, right now the battery is charged for 11.9493. Now, if you put a new battery which is 11.9, that means this will recognize as as though it is a new battery, and this will reset to zero. And finally, but not the least, is the third one. This is where the user sets uh, the number three. This is where the user sets the uh, timer. Maybe count up, count down, inhibit, etc. Whatever is it? All right. Now let me just show you. Let me switch off the transmitter. Let me switch it on. Then you will see that's 2.28, 2.3 becomes to zero now. Yeah, you can see that. This become to uh, zero. So let's proceed with the press and hold enter timer setting. Now the timer setting has got three types of modes, which is count up, count down and inhibit and inhibit. Inhibit of course the timer is not activated. Count up basically says from 0, 1, 2, 3 all the way up. Count down is for example if you got maybe 3 minutes from 3 minutes it will start going on 2.59, 2.58, 2.56 etc etc till it comes down to 0 and negative. So let me go ahead and fix this to count up. But this is what I'm comfortable using in. Let me, sorry guys, let me set it up properly here. Now, let me go ahead and switch it to the throttle. Now, this literally means that uh, I'm setting up the throttle as one of the switches. That means to say, if I, I can set up the timer to switch on or activate at any of the positions of the throttle. It's very easy to set up. Uh, you just come down, throttle position, you highlight it, it automatically becomes uh, 99 or 100 whatever is it now you move this up and down accordingly you will see that this is also moving up and down all right now if I want the uh, timer to activate maybe at this position just leave it at that point come here and set it as enter so this is it so whenever I am flying, I move my throttle to this position, that's when the timer will start activating. However, for this uh, uh, for this demonstration, I am going to set up maybe the maybe switch D. Now, when I move the switch D, the timer will activate. And let me just set up for the frame view here. All right. So let us see at what levels have we set it up. Timer setting throttle point and alarm time it's 251 let me set it to maybe two um, we'll have to wait for a few seconds it will activate just a uh, few seconds yes 10 seconds earlier now I can see just about 10 seconds earlier the uh, transmitter has started buzzing that's actually it's vibrating if you hold it you can feel the vibration and also the beep now if I have to switch it off basically I move this to the center let me just do that and it will stop absolutely so this is how you set up the timer if you want to again push it down the timer will start again yeah I'm gonna switch it off now Alright, now uh, let us just get into that again, uh, so alarm time and then finally is reset, if you want to reset, it's just a matter of resetting everything back again. Alright, now after this let's get into the receiver setting, it's as simple as it is, uh, receiver setting is just for telemetry, 
you set your alarm voltage at whatever the voltage that you want to set it's a matter of pressing and changing it so at this at this voltage on your receiver the transmitter will start buzzing that means to say it's high time that you get your model down and land the model next comes with the monitor this literally uh, shows all the channel how it works now I think if I'm right I need to check out in what settings I have done um, let me go to my model setting this is on heli setting let me put it on acro monitor so this literally gives across this is channel 3 channel 3 channel 1 is the uh, aileron channel 2 elevator of course channel 3 is a throttle channel 4 is the rudder channel channel 5 channel 6 I've set it on the timer channel 7 then comes in channel 8 the knobs are the channel 9 and finally the channel 10 and uh, finally but not the least is all about the transmitter now this gives you what version the software is and uh, what compatibility is it right now it's compatible with rcb 6 sign we're going to have a four channel receiver uh, we are going to have a, a eight channel receiver being launched very soon so all of these will be compatible uh, uh, with the uh, with this transmitter okay finally but not the least i remember that i had skipped one uh, unit if i remember was stick insert let me come here i don't know where the stick insert was yeah stick insert i will come to uh, the details of this in a short while and also if i remember i had missed on uh, how to set up the trainer functions in this which i will come a little bit uh, let me find out where the trainer function is I'll tell you how to even set up this trainer function. Alright? 